for this week's advanced review. As you guys know, we've been doing some advanced reviews. Uh, it's a book that I'm pretty excited for just because of the creative team behind it. Uh, we're going to be talking about Hack Slash, Back to School, number one. There's a new book from Image Comics coming out uh, next week. So as you can see, this is by, with story and art by Zoe Thurgood. Uh, the original Hack Slash was created by Tim Silly and Stefano Caselli. Now, before we get into this, have any of you guys read Hack Slash stuff before? No. Nope. No? No nope. one? Interesting. Because this, I mean, it seems like a pretty, I feel like there's a Hack Slash book at least every other year or something over at Image. Uh, like from the, from since whenever I can remember. Uh, so, but yeah, it's interesting that. We don't. So before we get into this book, I wanted to ask: Did you guys feel like this book was accessible enough without having any hacks, uh, hack, hack slash knowledge? Uh, oh, I'll yeah. to you first. Yeah, I had never read any hack slash, and so uh, just going into it, I wasn't sure of the character. But the this issue pretty much kind of sets everything up for you. So it lays out who the character is kind of what she does. And then she stumbles upon somebody who says, yes, we have a school for people like you. And then you get to meet the other schoolmates. So it's very accessible. It's, it, I mean, it's like perfect if you've never read anything before, because I kind of learned who the character is, learn who she's going to school with, and now kind of uh, where the story is going to go uh, right. in the second issue. Yeah. Jeff, did, did you feel it was accessible? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I've seen like hack slash on the, on those comic shelves before. So I knew it was like girl, big guy. I, I thought that they were like serial killers or whatever. I, I didn't know what the premise was really. I just knew bloody comic girl, big guy. Uh, so you kind of get that right away. Uh, in this, it is, it does feel very Buffy meets, I don't know, uh, you know, that she goes to the school, so it was like it kind of reminded me of that. What's that Zack Snyder movie? The uh, oh. Uh, oh, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch. Yeah, yeah. it's sort of uh, like a little bit like that, kind of a little bit of Umbrella Academy, kind of. Yeah, thought. yeah. I mean, X Men too, right? Obviously, there's a school yeah, a little X Men. Yeah, uh, cool. a little bit like that. It was yeah, it's super accessible. It was it was it was good. I, I really enjoy Zoe Thurgood's work, so uh, yeah. like her artwork and stuff. So. Well, let me give you guys a quick synopsis of the book. In this, uh, it's, it's going to be a miniseries. In this, the returns it returns with an untold tale uh, and critically acclaimed cartoonist Zoe Thurgood at the Bloody Helm. Slasher hunter Cassie Hack is only just getting used to her man monster partner Vlad. Uh, so there's the there's the girl big big guy trope that uh, we're talking about. Uh, when she is drawn into a new case involving a murderous bunny mascot dead kids, and an entire squad of maladjusted teenage serial killer hunters. A completely new chapter in the beloved long-running series that's perfect for new readers and old fans alike, just in time for Halloween. So, I mean, this was definitely by design, right, that they wanted mm -hmm. to bring in a new audience and make it accessible. Uh, of course, they're you're using a creator like Zoe, who's like kind of blowing up right now. She has a lot of really good work, and and it's just kind of a, it's a very different thing uh, from some of the other work I've read. Uh, I guess because it is adapting something that already kind of exists. Uh, there's a lot of gore <laughs> <laughs> in a horror book. Yeah, but it, it, it's like it is gory, but it's not. I don't know. Like it's still kind of fun to look at in a weird way. It's Does fun to sense? look at. Is it? I will. I will say there is also like a bit of. In in my mind, like I was talking before, when I think of uh, right. Slash, I think of uh, like I think of like those Catholic schoolgirl outfits. I think it's like a in my head, it's always been a comic for like teenage boys mm. because it is it's because it does seem very violent, and then there's like girls in miniskirts and you know whatever. Yeah, uh, and so that's why I just on the cover, it's never really I've never it's never appealed to me. So I do think it's an interesting thing that they chosen Zoe Thorogood who does not who maybe appeals to a different audience to say look at this stuff yeah uh, maybe maybe they are trying to bring in just a different uh, maybe Zoe's got range maybe Zoe can write yeah. books for a teenage boys too yeah so, yeah let me pull up some preview art 
because this, these are the opening pages, and I won't go too deep into it. But yeah. as you can see, <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of the pacing of this, like just kind of slowly zooming out for these first few panels, mm -hmm. and then the big reveal on the next page of like, oh shit, things went down, right? Yeah. Um, I I like the news narration of like this is kind of how we're gonna tell you what's going on, and then things escalate pretty quickly. I think after this. We get a little bit of like who is Kaz, who's Vlad, like what what's their relationship like. Uh, I like the narration boxes that are like notes from a diary that feels very personal to the to the character, and I like the character designs. I just I really like the layout of the book. It's fun because we've always been sharing on social media like some of the behind the scenes process for this stuff. Uh, but and the next page after this, if you guys remember that the ones that have read it. Is insane. I I thought about putting in in the slideshow. I decided against it because I think it may spoil something. But also, it's a pretty graphic. Like it's probably one of the most graphic pages in the issue. Um, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. I I think the book overall is is very straightforward. A lot of fun, and I, I'm interested because it's only a mini series, so it's not a big commitment. Mm -hmm. Um. And I just kind of want to know more about these insane characters that are introduced later on. I really hope that turns on a like a page flip, like that. You yeah. Flip the page and then it oh flips. yeah. That's a that's an art that doesn't get talked about much of like these page reveals, especially because I read a lot digitally since we get the previews uh, digitally. But like, yeah, I guess that's something to check out for when we when I get the issue. Um, do you guys have anything more to say about the book without going too deep into any spoilers? I, I just remember my favorite line from it was uh, when they were introducing the characters. They had the goth girl running away, and she and she says, "Oh, that's our resident goth girl. Your eyeliner's making her. You, you, you have so much eyeliner. You're making her uncomfortable." Uh, I think the pug is also pretty fun. Um, oh, the pug is great. Is yeah. it the same? Is it the same characters every book, or is it a different girl, big guy every book? Do you know? I think. I'm not sure about that. I think this this says it's a lost chapter, so I'm thinking we do follow maybe Cass in the in the main series. Maybe that's who we end up following. This feels like almost like year zero for her, maybe yeah. if that's what it is. Mm. Uh, but that's a good question. Baby I don't know. Slash. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I know there's a lot of. For some reason, I thought Hackslash was like a technological hacking type of like book, but. But I've never kind of put it together. So really cool stuff. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we got to read it a little bit early because I had been waiting for it. Um, and here's some of the variant covers. So if you have read this, let us know what you thought about it down in the comments. But feel free to remember the question of the week. Who is today? Shut the comments.